Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create mask transition using Femora Pro. So freehand mask is one of the biggest differences between uh, Femora 9 and Femora Pro. With Femora Pro, you have more, uh, more control of the mask, uh, not only just rectangular or circle uh, shape, uh, shape mask, but uh, you can also draw a freehand mask. So it's very useful, especially for those those of you who want to create mass transition for your travel video or a vlog or something like that. So let's go into the software. Uh, here I am in Femora Pro start page. Uh, we can create a new project here. So click on here. And uh, we need to select our project settings, but I have the default settings, so I, I'm going to click OK. Uh, we go with uh, 1080p and 24 frames per second. Okay, and because of my video is going to be uploaded to YouTube, so that's fine with that resolution. Click OK. So here I am in the uh, main editing uh, interface of Filmora Pro. Let's drag and drop two clips uh, onto the timeline. The first clip uh, we are going to mask that uh, that part, uh, some part of that clip, and uh, to show up the bottom uh, clip. So we need to clip uh, right here. So we can click uh, this import button, or we can drag and drop the media into this library. I'm going to drag and drop because it is easy. So this is a clip, and uh, the first clip and this is a second so I'm select two, two clip then I drag and drop it into the media library here okay so this is the first uh, the first clip uh, let's drag and drop it onto the timeline much do you want to change the editor sequence setting match the clip no in order to create a mass uh, transition effect you need uh, one clip that has something cover the frame cross the frame so uh, uh, fill up the, the frame and uh, cross the frame okay and here we have some people working uh, across the frame we can use them for mask as a mask to, to mask okay uh, let's play it okay so uh, here I'm going to use this guy uh, the guy with the red trousers okay and uh, going back a little bit to the position where he entered the frame uh, i think this this position is right here where uh, when he uh, entered the frame and now we need to draw a mask around him okay so let's go uh, select this freehand mask uh, under the preview window okay and also zoom in uh, zoom in a little bit you can press control and uh, scroll your mouse to zoom in now the first point second point third point four point more point more so in my experience uh, I suggest you draw more uh, more points on the mask than you need because uh, uh, later you can uh, adjust this point uh, when the mask is moving uh, across the frame so it's uh, easier by doing that you don't need to add more points when moving the mask okay so let's finish the mask uh, just make sure that it's uh, cover the whole frame okay so click on the first point to close it okay so as you can see that uh, we have uh, complete our mask so now we need to uh, to uh, keyframe this mask at this position and then move the mask uh, move the mask uh, frame by frame and then we adjust the mask to fit uh, with the uh, with his movement on the timeline so in order to uh, to add keyframes so firstly we select the mask right here and click this drop down menu at the shape uh, shape menu uh, we can uh, adjust the feather strength so uh, uh, we go with 15 uh, 50 50 pixel is okay and roundness uh, we go with 10 and that is okay for for feather and roundness and now we go to transform click this drop down menu and we need to add keyframe to the path to the path of the mask okay and click here so the it has our one keyframe here so now this keyframe uh, allow you to uh, move the uh, move the mask to uh, to any position on the screen uh, 
uh, it will uh, add a new keyframe so uh, the mask will follow that okay so now we uh, we need to zoom in this one and we move uh, forward using uh, my uh, right key, uh, key arrow key to move uh, rightward two frame one two and now we need to adjust the mask so we can uh, highlight all of them and move the mask to the right and now we can uh, we can adjust uh, some point on the mask to 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 fix the uh, match with his uh, movement and go to the next keyframe two frame also and select all of them and move and then change the point change the point on the mask But remember, do not add more points on the mask. Otherwise, it go, um, it it will not work properly because the behavior in Filmora Pro is not very good. When you add more points, then that points will not be keyframe. When I try uh, this program, so uh, let's go back to uh, to the first keyframe and see. And okay, and this is the first keyframe, and it is uh, one frame forward, and it is a second. And this uh, this has no keyframe, but actually we can add one keyframe here. But by the way, it's okay. And this is a third keyframe. I'm going to fast forward this process because it takes time. So I'm come back when I finish. Okay. Okay, so that is uh, the last keyframe. So when we finish, we need to move the mouse uh, out the screen. Okay, and then uh, we can split the out clip right here. So press C on your keyboard to uh, to uh, pull out the uh, split tool, and we can split right here. Now go back to V and select the clip, and then delete. And let's see. Uh, let's go back to to the beginning and see. Yeah, the mask work very well. So uh, now we need to go back to the uh, the first keyframe right here. And here's the first keyframe, and now we need to add more um, more keyframe uh, when uh, before he enter the screen. I think one frame here is okay, and uh, we need to select the mask. Remember, okay? Now we can move this uh, the whole mask. To the left and extend it okay so we finish uh, we finish our mask right here so uh, now we can um, can over uh, we can put another clip under the uh, under the mask so it show up the, the second clip so I'm now I'm going to uh, drag and drop this into the into the timeline and I will put it uh, down uh, down here Okay, let's move up one one track and then move this to uh, this position okay so that that is how we create the, the mass transition using Fimura Pro uh, let's play the clip now that's nice right so uh, that's how you uh, you can create mass transition using Fimura Pro. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any ha any question, let me know at the comment section below. So uh, about the keyframe, uh, it's important to to add more point than you need when you uh, you mask the subject because uh, yeah, later uh, later if you add more point, then uh, that point will not be keyframe. So you need to adjust it. Uh, one by one again so you take more time so uh, just uh, do what I uh, just follow my tutorials it's easier and now we can export it and I'm going to export this uh, project 
Okay, let's say mask transition and save. Okay, now we need to wait uh, a little bit and I will show up this uh, result at the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye for now.